does seem that supply chain woes are causing some problems in Santa's workshop this holiday yeah, season. Toy stores across the state are telling WCCO about the struggle that they have had filling their store shelves. Shayla Reeves joins us live this morning from Linden Hills with uh, how this could impact your holiday shopping. Checking the list of those little ones there, Shayla. Oh, absolutely. They want to check those lists a little bit sooner, get those wish lists to Santa as quickly as possible. That's because the stores are really feeling that impact of the slowdown with the ports and the lack of truck drivers, all of it stacking up. And the small toy stores here in the t Twin Cities are really seeing that impact. In fact, if you go beyond the Twin Cities, about 90 miles southeast, Lark Toys actually started stockpiling this summer to be able to fill the 20,000 in square foot space in Kellogg. Shortages and those longer delivery times made the process tough months ahead of the holiday season. We just kind of cast our net wide and knew that we would get some of it and not all of it. Some of our plush snakes have, have taken months to get here. And so we just move that display over here for a little while. Some puzzles have had a hard time coming. Now the backlog at ports and limited trucks hit Amy Saldana at her Kitty Wampus pop-up shop in St. Louis Park. She says this year has been tough. In many cases, the toy store had to give up on some of the orders placed in May, instead relying on manufacturers to find different toy trucks and dolls to keep the shelves full and kids happy. Both toy store owners tell us it's the local customers that are really sticking with them and making a difference at a time like now. They they say that they hope parents are planning ahead and really giving them a little bit of grace during the holiday season, saying maybe if you can't find that number one pick, keep that number two toy option in mind. Uh, it could take a little bit of flexibility to get what you're looking for, and some of these toy challenges could stretch into 2022. Heather and yeah. Jason? It's actually probably a pretty good lesson for those kiddos, I would imagine. A little grace out there. All right, yeah. Shayla, thank you.